Hi, welcome to another video. So today I'm evaluating the Cyclone 2 FPGA starter board from Altera. So this is, you might have heard of the FPGA, Field Programmable Gate Arrays. Um, so I'm not familiar with them. This A friend sold me this board, plugged it in. Actually, Farnell say it comes with a UK adapter or a US adapter with UK adapters. Uh, it came with that. And needless to say, it didn't have an adapter to plug it in. So I used these adapters, chopped the plug off, and connected it to my power supply. So it's just there. So it's running at 7.5 volts in at the top. So they keep on mentioning you've got to plug it into a USB blaster cable. Uh, I eventually figured out the USB blaster is like a programming lead, plugs in down here on the early models, but this one it's incorporated. So the USB blaster cable it refers to is just standard sort of printer lead USB, uh, run that into the computer, but then you have to run through loads of files and set up the drivers because it doesn't do itself. So that took me about an hour to suss that out. Uh, then I turned it on and this is all that happened and I finally sussed if you press this button down here You get some fancy LEDs and that's it Let me, uh... So that's all it does nothing else when you get it out of the box the manual which I've got says uh, should provide you with a nice easy experience and but it didn't. I mean, it took long enough to install the drivers for the USB device so that the software could recognise I've got the board. Uh, I eventually sussed out between the programmer and the software. I sussed out what to do. You get a, a quick start guide. Um, and I've failed already. I've, I've downloaded the first program, but then it says, if I just see if I can bring this into shot, it says get a picture, convert it to 640 by 480 resolution uh, and run that on your computer monitor. So I was a bit disappointed because it's only 640 by 480. So it's already I'm on to a loser compared to the display I got running in the background just recently. Got that running on 16 bit, that's running at 800 by 480. So I don't know, I've got this board and already downgrading the resolution. So. So you've got the FPGA chip here, uh, and for those of you who are familiar with microcontrollers, or specifically like microchip, uh, maybe using PIC Basic Pro or Micro C Pro for PIC, or Basic and Pascal, this obviously hasn't got any internal memory. So what you've got here, which would actually speed the whole device up, should I ever be able to get it to run anything. So we've got. SD RAM here, 8 megabytes. So what's that? Um, synchronous dynamic RAM. Uh, there are 8 megs there. And then static RAM. Uh, 512 kilobytes down there. But it's got 4 megabytes of flash. So I'm surprised considering they've got the 4 megs of flash. Well, that, that's the best program that comes on the board. It just to run a string of LEDs. But I studied the program, listened to the tutorials for about 30 minutes and I still do not know how to turn on an LED. What I was hoping was with the demonstration program they give you, I was hoping they'd load that program onto the screen, you could break it down and go from there, you know, modify it and start working it that way. But now I listen to half an hour of ball lake and still don't know how to turn on a single LED. But So what I'll do is show you on the monitor the program how to set it up, or not how to set it up, how to download the file. So obviously, because this is just uh, SRAM and SDRAM, as soon as you, you can download the program, but as soon as you turn the power off, that's it. It's, uh, it's gone, it's empty. It's, uh, the demonstration program is not lo being loaded into the flash. So you've got various crystals up here running at different speeds for different programs. It's got a 24-bit audio a codec, sort of coder and decoder for audio. Um, one of the switches on a demonstration program gives you a one kilohertz tone for audio, but I'm not really into audio. I just want, well, I wanted high definition video really, but, and fast too. Anyway, uh, I've just got an SD card holder, big old fashioned SD card holder here, but you don't get a card with it. Uh, 
a few other bits. That's the program and run button. Um, anyway, I'll run this code. I've got it currently, it's got a VGA plug up here, which I've got plugged into my PC monitor, which fortunately has dual inputs. I've, my PC runs on DDI input, and this is standard VGA. And then you've got the RS232 port. Uh, so not even any USB. Hmm. Uh, right, let me uh, run this program and show you what happens. Right, so this is the Altera Quartus 2. So this is where you sort of write the program. So I come up to the top here, looking for my programmer, down to programmer. So in a quick step guide, just says load this programmer. So you have to add a file. Took me ages to find the file. Kits. Cyclone 2. Examples. So starter, default. And you had to have had this SOF file, so totally different to obviously microcontrollers. So if I add that file. Uh, my it's found my hardware, so it says USB blaster, USB zero. So all I have to do is click on the start, and that's it running. So now, if I flick my monitor over to the second input, that's the default graphics software. Just to give you an idea, and if I click one switch on the board, so that's switch zero, that gives you that display. So you can see it's low resolution, 640 by 480. You can see all the oh, nasty old low resolution lines that I used to experience was back in the late 80s and early 90s when I first got on the internet. So that's some low resolution graphics and low resolution but pretty colours. I'll take you back to the board, and that, so that's uh, let me move you over. Well, so that's the board running the demonstration program. You can see the seven digit displays are just counting from zero to up to F, obviously 16 on each display, and the LEDs are going. That's about it. So, this is a switch I moved to change the monitor from the colour squares to the Altera logo uh, and if I had my speakers plugged in which I've unplugged them you can move this switch and it gives you a one kilohertz audio tone so that's it that's the download program to show the boards working and that's it so I wanted to right let's get into that program see how it's constructed and see how you turn on an LED but as I say, I've listened to half an hour of tutorials, slow tutorials, and I'm still not there yet. So maybe by Christmas I might be able to get one of these LEDs to turn on. If I'm really lucky, it might even be a red one, or two together. Anyway, so that's this uh, first evaluation of this Cyclone 2. Yeah, with a bloody US plug. What use is that in Europe? I couldn't find the adapter in the box. I don't know, maybe the guy I bought it off. Incidentally, it's brand new. The guy hadn't used it. Maybe he's taken it out of the box. Uh, didn't have a USB lead either, but it's a normal sort of square printer, printer cable. Uh, but as I say, the book talks um, talks about loading pictures. So I thought, great, load some different pictures. I'll quickly find it on here. So it says, convert the picture into 640 by 480, then run the Cyclone 2 starter control panel image converter EXE. And can I find that? No, so I've given up. Thought I'd do this video. So I failed in the first hurdle. Uh, once I find that, maybe I'll find it, I don't know. Incidentally, the software for this, uh, to run 95% of the functions is free. To have the full software with no limitations is $2,000. So needless to say, I'm using the free demonstration version at the moment. Uh, I've got a Texas Instruments unit with its HDMI, high resolution screen, that sort of stuff, so I might use it, I don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching.